Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Full Retard by Mentally Damaged. Today we have a story of entitled Parents by Madren15. Let's get to it. Sorry if this is really long, but felt the need to share after a run-in with my entitled parent, my own sister. She reminded me about this while complaining that her daughter didn't want to hang out with her for her 18th birthday. Little backstory. I'm the middle of five kids and it's a complicated mess from my mom being married three times. Basically the order of us is my older sister from her first marriage that was raised by her grandmother for reasons I was never told. There's me and my younger brother from her second, he's only a year younger than me and we've always been super close because we were raised together. Then there's my stepsister, who's a few weeks young and a stepbrother a few years older than me from her third and last marriage. That man was a saint and treated me more like a daughter than my waste of skin father ever did. The oldest among us is almost 10 years older than me and because she had a kid young, I was 8 when my first nephew was born. Thankfully, she didn't live with the rest of us then, but when she moved back in with us when I was older, around 16, she had some fight with her baby daddy and bailed. I somehow became a free babysitter for her kids every weekend. This pissed me off a lot because my mom not only allowed it, she told me I had no choice because she needed time from the kids. Never mind the fact that I'm juggling school, a part-time job and army cadets and she was a stay-at-home mom. I had one night to myself each week to do my homework or go out with my friends and my sister would bugger off and leave me with her crotch goblins. She didn't even have the decency to feed them first and those little shits, ages 2, 7 and 8, were picky eaters. And trying to do my homework with these three fighting was more than I could take. It came to a point that I stopped coming home till late on my days off and just heading to the library or friends instead. This was also in the days before cell phones were commonplace and cost like $900 up front, so my sister couldn't text to demand where I was. I often miss the days before texting and social media for reasons like this. I know, ironic considering I post on Reddit. As soon I would walk in the door, she practically bolted and get pissy if I told her I had to go to work or cadets. Other problems she caused were things like when my boyfriend would pick me up before school and she would hit on him. Once she grabbed his car keys and dropped them down from front of her pants and told him if he wanted them he would have to grab them. He quickly responded that he didn't want his hands anywhere near her filthy claptrap and we ended up walking. I lived close enough to the school, but he didn't and I had to lend him my bus pass until I could get his car keys back. Or she poked fun at a friend of mine who was really short due to Turner Syndrome, called her a beach ball because of her height combined with a double D cup size. On top of that my mom and stepdad, who were truck drivers, were home less and less as we got older. My mom had made me start to pay rent when I got my part-time job, about $50 a week that went into helping the bills. I hated that because I didn't make a lot and bus passes were not cheap. My mom also started to tell me that the money that I would give her for my rent was to go to my sister to buy groceries. My sister, on the other hand, used it to go to the casino with our other sister, then lie to my mom and tell her that I didn't give her the money. Had to start getting her to sign receipts from a book one got at the dollar store just to prove she was full of shit. Anyways, this went on for close to two years sorry for the long backstory, but this woman was the bane of my teen years and part of my twenties. What finally broke the camel's back was my 18th birthday. My mom and stepdad couldn't be there because of work, which was fine and I had bought a nice dress to wear with some friends at the bar. Legal drinking age where I live is 18. 
They also told me they would be home the morning after, so we could grab lunch together after they had a nap. The cast. Me. Duh. Sis, entitled bitch sister. I got home from school to shower and get dressed to head out, because of her antic I had a lock installed on my bedroom door, that and I didn't want her kids in my room because they would break things. I was in such a hurry that I forgot to relock my door while I was in the shower and when I got back to my room, she was there, trying to zip up the dress I bought on her, but she was too fat to manage it. Me, take that off and get the fuck out of my room. Sis, but I need something to wear tonight, I'm going out and you have to watch the kids. Me, the fuck I am. It's my 18th birthday. I'm going out. Sis, but I need you to watch them. You haven't been home and I can't afford a sitter. Then I hear a rip as one of the side seams burst open. Smugly, my sister takes off the dress and drops it to the floor. Sis, looks like you're not going now, huh? And she walked out of my room. I checked the dress, the stitches on the seam broke, so I could fix it in less than five minutes. I call my boyfriend and tell him what's going and he told me he would handle it and to get ready to go. I fix the dress, get ready and as finish my makeup, I hear my sister start screaming in rage. I go outside and barely hold back my laughter. All four tires on her car are flat. Then, my boyfriend pulls up and I pout at her, looks like you won't be going, huh? And we leave. Boyfriend had parked his car down the street and snuck over to let the air out but not slash them, he wasn't that much of an ass. The night was a blast, what I remember of it. I didn't get home to the ass crack of dawn, just as my parents got home. Mom didn't say anything, just asked if I had fun and told me to be up by 11 so we could go and eat. I went to my room and collapsed into bed, I heard my sister start to whine to them in the kitchen, must have thought she could turn this to get me in shit but my mom wasn't having any of it and tore into her like I had never heard before. Not only was my sister called selfish and childish for trying to pull such a stunt, that she was not living there for free any longer. She was given 30 days to either get a job or leave. She moved back in with her baby daddy two weeks later. Apparently she had been seeing him the whole time she was living with us and was getting welfare checks without giving my parents a dime to help out while not even buying so much as a box of cereal for her kids. To this day I hate when any of my siblings, even my younger brother, asks me to watch their kids. I don't hate my nieces and nephews, far from it. I just don't want to be in the situation of being that run to free babysitter. I'm also the only one among us five who doesn't have kids and I'm perfectly content with that. Thanks for listening if you enjoyed this episode let us know. Don't forget to subscribe and like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and if you can afford it click the support us link and help us out. We have big plans for the show but need to raise $600 for software licenses to make those plans a reality.